T plus 50 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 is carrying our upgraded Dragon vehicle uh, to low Earth orbit. In a few seconds, we'll be passing max Q, which is the moment where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. And we've just passed max Q. Coming up are three events in rapid succession. The first event is MECO, or main engine cutoff. This is where all nine of the Merlin engines on the Falcon 9 first stage will shut down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. Uh, this is where the first and second stage will separate from one another. And a few seconds after that, we'll have a second engine start one, where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit. Again, that is main engine cutoff, stage separation, followed by second engine start on the second stage. Main engine cutoff should happen around the T plus two minute and 31 second mark. And you just saw on screen, successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and ignition of our second stage. Uh, so on screen right now, you have two different views. Uh, on the right-hand side is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum engine. Uh, on top of that second stage is our Dragon vehicle. And on the left-hand side is a view from the top of our first stage looking downward. Uh, the first stage will continue its descent back towards Earth and attempt landing on our drone ship, of course, I still love you, in a few minutes, uh, while the second stage continues to uh, take our Dragon vehicle to low Earth orbit. If you are just joining us, this is the 21st commercial resupply mission for the International Space Station for NASA. This is also SpaceX's 24th launch this year. And we're flying a cargo configuration of our new Dragon spacecraft. Now looking on the left hand side of your screen, the first stage, in order to make its way back to our drone ship, the first stage executes a series of two burns. Uh, the first burn is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second and final burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. The first uh, of those two burns, the stage one entry burn, should happen around the T plus six and a half minute mark. Until then, we get some really cool views of both the first and second stage. You notice that our grid fins on the first stage have also deployed. Those help to guide the first stage back during descent. You can also see some periodic plumes of gas, that's nitrogen. Uh, coming from our attitude control systems, and those help to orient the first stage uh, as it continues to fall back towards Earth. And there it goes. We're about a minute away from the first of these two burns on the first stage. And just checking in with the second stage, everything seems to be looking nominal. Trajectory nominal. 
that engine that you see on the right hand side can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. That single engine is what is carrying Dragon to low Earth orbit right now. And we're just a few seconds away from our re-entry burn on the first stage. Watch for those three Merlin engines to relight and slow the stage down. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there's our entry burn. Again, that's three engines slowing the first stage down before it hits that dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. Trajectory nominal. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And we are done with the first of two burns on the first stage. The second burn, the landing burn, will happen at the T plus eight minute and 18 second mark. Uh, that second burn should last for about 25 seconds. And uh, as that burn is happening, uh, we should also be having a, another major event for the second stage, second engine cutoff. We'll see if we can uh, hear that uh, as the landing burn begins. As we wait for this Stay landing burn, uh, this is going to be our 68th attempt to recover our first stage, and we are going to be attempting to land on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, I still love you. Second stage in terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn startup. And we got audio confirmation FTS is saved. that the first stage has begun its landing burn. Everything's looking great on the second stage right now. Stage one, landing leg deploy. There's a view from our drone ship. Here comes Falcon 9. Tico. Stage and one, uh, Falcon 9 has landed once again. That is the 68th successful first stage recovery. Uh, this mission also marks the 100th successful flight of Falcon 9. Uh, it's also the 35th time we've landed successfully on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Uh, during that uh, landing, we did get confirmation of second stage, second engine cutoff, also a confirmation of a good orbit. And second stage now has one hey, last man, major task, commanding separation of Dragon just a few minutes from now. And we should have a video of Dragon separation from the top of the second stage. It should give us a nice view into Dragon's unpressurized cargo trunk area. Uh, this is an animation to show where uh, each of the stages are uh, currently in this mission. The second stage has turned off its Merlin vacuum engine and is currently coasting, uh, awaiting for Dragon separation. There's a view of the unpressurized section of Dragon. Now for a typical CRS mission after Dragon deploys, uh, we would be waiting for solar array deployment, but as a reminder, this is our new Dragon vehicle, and it has solar panels mounted along the surface of the trunk. You might be able to see it once Dragon separates, but uh, those solar panels are already activated and producing power.
We are about 45 seconds away from dragon separation. Again, we are in a coast phase. Even though the engines are not on, uh, we are still coasting at pretty, pretty fast pace, 27,000 kilometers per hour. And we are expecting dragon separation just a few seconds from now. Dragon separation confirmed. And there is a dragon separated from the second stage. Uh, what a cool view. Uh, that is, uh, if you've been Following us uh, looks a lot different than our previous CRS missions. Uh, Dragon is carrying approximately 6,400 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station on this mission. A small portion of the cargo represents supplies for the astronauts, things like food and clothing, but most of the cargo represents science going up to the space station. The International Space Station serves as the world's leading laboratory for cutting edge research and technology development that will enable human and robotic exploration of destinations beyond low Earth orbit, including the moon and even Mars. The Dragon vehicle is just beginning its journey. It has about 26 hours before reaching the space station. The next major event is nose cone deploy, and that's where we expose the guidance navigation and control sensors and docking mechanisms. We won't be able to see that on camera, but we should be able to get confirmation of it. Uh, and we do have confirmation of nose cone deploy, and Dragon is now uh, there it is. Uh, Dragon is now on its way to the space station. Uh, again, over the next 26 hours, Dragon will perform a series of orbital height adjustment maneuvers with its Draco engines until it's within a few kilometers of the International Space Station and begins its autonomous docking process. Uh, Dragon is set to dock at 1.30 p.m. Eastern tomorrow and remain at the space station for more than 30 days before returning to Earth with research and return cargo.